Children. Children are the innocence of this world. Although they sometimes have nightmares, for none of them nightmares should become a reality. Snatched from the safe home of their parents, trapping in a labyrinth full of dead fear, confronting twisted forces for whom tormenting their victims is the only form of amusement. Every day, I have to fight with demons from the past. Flashbacks are still in control of my life. Distorted faces, gruesome riddles, decaying bodies, and the scent of fear have been ingrained in me. So I become entwined, just like by poisonous ivy. Sometimes I can't distinguish reality from the visions in my head. Am I dreaming? Maybe I have never escaped, and I'm still trapped. What have I done to deserve this repeating hell every single day? My name is David. And 15 years ago, I was kidnapped. Will you help me overcome my trauma? The David? Is that you, honey? Please help me. David? I... You look pale. Are you okay? It's just... nightmares. They, they keep haunting me. I... I feel like I'm back to my childhood again. It's... maddening. Remember, it's completely normal after all you've experienced. You will go through episodes of despair, sure. But what's important is that you don't lose hope. Hope? Huh? But it's been 15 years already. How much longer can I go on like this? Why do I keep getting worse? David, your abduction has left its mark on you. A mark which can't be erased easily. That's why I'm here. So we can work through this to get... I'll find you, boy! Did you hear that? Hear what? Did you hear that? That voice... It's Frank. Oh, God. He's back. Fuck. I can't... I can't do... <laughs> David, calm down. The man who hurt you is gone. It's just you and me here. You're safe. Just breathe. Right. Right. He's... he's dead. Don't look around. Sit properly. Just breathe in. Breathe out. That's it. You see... The human mind, especially under duress, has a tendency to distort reality. It can make you see things that aren't really there. It can make you hear voices or notice hidden patterns. That's a part of- Part of the process of me losing my mind, losing track of time, and waking up in God knows what places is also part of the process. What do you mean? Recently, recently I've been having these I don't know, gaps in memory. 
sometimes I, I don't know what's happening to me, or I, I do to some degree, but it, it feels like I'm walking through the fog. Fuck, it's getting worse, isn't it? David, episodes of short-term amnesia can occur in patients with post-traumatic stress disorder. It's another symptom that makes me emphasize what I've been saying all along. I know, I know, I know. I should take a break, but what good will it do if I go somewhere? It's not a cure. How is this supposed to help me? Sometimes you have to cut deep to find what you're looking for. But sometimes you have to let it go. It's not about finding a cure. There's no magic remedy that will instantly heal you. But you do need to give your brain some space to sort through all this traumatic experiences on its own. Maybe. Maybe you're right. We can try to find a way that would allow you to pick up the pieces in a safe, friendly environment. There's one place I know and recommend. Some of my patients stayed there before with great results. You can retreat there, forget about everything for a while, and if you need anything, I'm just a phone call away. Yeah, I'll try. I'll go there. I can't keep being afraid forever. You better hide, David. <laughs> Antidepressants, a class of medication designed to alleviate symptoms of depression. I could do with no nightmares this time around. What? What the hell is this? Where am I? I, I need some light. Right now, or I'll lose my mind. Hello? Is anybody here? Fuse is missing. Let's get to restore the power. power. I should be able to open the door. A music box. It needs a key. I know this melody from somewhere. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Awesome. You have to cut deep to find what you're looking for. Open. You gotta be kidding me. Another room? Nothing to be afraid of. What the fuck was that? It felt... It felt so real. Fuck, I wish this was real. I'm gonna be to some rounds. I'm gonna puke. Wonderful, David. You are making me so proud. You're not real. Get out of my head. of death. David, are you with me? I think you spaced out for a moment. Yeah, uh, yes. I think so. Sorry. It's fine, really. But I see that you're tired. Have you been sleeping and eating okay? Well, yeah, no. I mean, just... I'm trying. 
This new medicine is making me... I don't know. Should I be feeling so weird after taking it? Oh, the first days are always the hardest since your body needs to get used to it. Bear with it, okay? It will get better. Or... <laughs> it won't. W what did you... No, 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 no. Don't look, David. Focus on our conversation, please. Why can't I? Let's talk about your fears for a while, all right? We talked about them before. I know, but they're very important. I don't think I want... Blood, pain, clowns, darkness, mannequins. I said... Monsters. I don't want to talk about this. I don't want to talk about this, please. What are you seeing, David? I don't want to talk about this! You mentioned a creature that started following you in your dreams. I don't know. I don't want to know. It makes no sense. Sometimes, what initially makes no sense becomes logical when missing pieces are added. Let's find those pieces, David. Focus. Take a look at those pictures, please. Ah, uh, of course it's not over yet. That's Morse code, right? Separate numbers. It looks like a date. September 1998. Wasn't that? No. Charlie Captain. I think they need to be arranged in a specific order. <sighs> no kid had to live down here.
please let there be no actual body in here. Better have some spare batteries ready. What the hell is this? Yes! There's just no end to it. Who's this? There's something underneath. What the hell is this? What are those pictures? Looks like someone's notes about a case. You want to know what I think, you journalist bitch? All you do is lie. Lie, lie, lie for money, for fame. You make up lies and destroy people's lives. Only the truth will set you free. Remember that. My head. What? Where's my flashlight? No, 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 no. I, I can't stay in the dark. I can't. I, I, need, I need light. Something. Anything. God, no. Not this again.
No. Leave me alone, please. Should be fine for some time. had a photo of a child the other map had a photo of a child on it something's missing here a photo an undeveloped photo I could try to finish it that's me right after I got out how did someone get this <laughs> missing kids I know those names. I've seen them before. They were the ones who didn't survive. I think that's it. Should be good. That should be it. I should take it with me. David? What? How did I... What happened? Welcome back, David. Oh, let the fun begin. Don't touch me! David, calm down, please. Whatever you just saw, it was just a dream. What happened? 
I... Sit down, please. And remember to breathe, okay? Take it easy. You've had another dissociative episode. You started screaming and thrashing around. You hit your head pretty hard, too. But, Mom... It's okay. She was important to you, I know. But we've been through this, David. I think your inability to let go of her has been holding you back. I'm scared. It's all so confusing. I don't know what's real anymore. Breathe. You're rushing yourself into another panic attack. Don't worry. It's all right. Mommy's here. You're safe now. Take a moment to relax. Try to empty your mind. I'll bring you something to drink, okay? I'll, I'll be right back. numbers fast.
through time. to restore the power. I should be able to open the door. This must be the exit. The cube I found before. I think I have to put it into the slot to remind some tea, as promised. Everything I saw, the bodies, the, the rooms, was it all? I suspect your current medication might have caused some serious side effects. It's not unusual for patients to report extremely vivid dreams. But in your case, level of delusions is highly alarming. It would be best for us to contact Dr. Crawl to make proper adjustments and discuss further steps. Steps? Oh, don't worry. We'll make it all better. What? Relax. You'll forget soon enough. No, what does it all mean? What happened? Was it real? Calm down, David. I just did what I had to. We had to... right the wrong, so to say, you and I. What did you do to me? To them? It's you. It's you. David, listen to my voice. Deep breaths. Yes, like that. You're okay. No one's gonna hurt you. Yes. Now, don't be afraid. 